you know, if you're a student and you're watching this video and you're thinking, you know, I know this stuff or this is boring and I learned this in high school, I would really encourage you to think again. We penalize dozens of students every semester because they violated the Binghamton University Student Academic Honesty Code. Those violations can mean you fail a course, they can mean that you're suspended for, from the university, they can mean that your degree is revoked or that you are expelled from school. Take this seriously. The rules that we have might be different from the way your high school set its standards. And it's very, very important that you know our rules since you are a student here. I think as an integrity is important in your whole life. And academic integrity is important in your professional life. Uh, who you are and how other people look at you is a function of whether or not they can trust you. And I think integrity and academic integrity comes down to ensuring that people trust that what you say uh, has truth, has validity, is well thought out, uh, and is your work. And if you think about the university as a place where people are pursuing and creating knowledge, then I'd say academic integrity is important because that knowledge should be, um, there should be accountability for that knowledge, there should be um, trust in that knowledge. Academic integrity is important because it gives, us, gives all the students a level playing field. One of the things that universities are about are, is valuing ideas and that is whether the person creating the idea is a faculty member or a sophomore in a class. And one of the ways we act with integrity is to make sure that we, we represent our work as our own and represent others' contributions for what they are as well. Students should understand that their ideas are of value and so are other people's ideas and that there is a place where we have to respect that and being educated about academic integrity will show you exactly what the rules are. The students come to the university um, in order to expand their horizons to be exposed to ideas, but to then build on those ideas and develop their minds and their brains and have creative, uh, creative ideas, creative understandings to, to reach a higher level on the basis of the work of other people, right? So the work of other people is the foundation of your learning, but your task as students is to go beyond that to make the next generation of thinkers, the next generation of doers, the next generation of you know, brilliant scientists or leaders. And the way you do that is by having your own ideas. So academic integrity is really important. You want to stand out. What is your idea? In many cases, I believe students are just unaware, just ignorant of the fact that what they are doing is uh, not permitted in, in our arena. I think for students, the most important thing is, a lot of students don't know that they're plagiarizing. That's why it's so important to learn the rules and to make sure that you do have a basic understanding of the process. I think that students often get in trouble when there's very little time left to do something. And it's kind of last minute and Google searches are there, <laughs> Wikipedia is there, cut and paste is there, and if you have very, very little time, you're going to do what you think you need to do in order to get the assignment done. Uh, my advice would be take advantage of all the resources you have available to collect information. Google, Wikipedia, but also scholarly journals and databases and indexes that are, that are in the library. The key is, as you collect that information, try to copy points and items or ideas. Don't copy whole pieces of paragraph, because it's too easy to copy and paste and then forget to go back and delete the segments that were really just there as reminders. Oftentimes, uh, cases of plagiarism that I've seen are often inadvertent mistakes, honest mistakes, where copying and pasting leads to an inadvertent inclusion of something that wasn't correctly cited. We have to always be on the lookout for copying and pasting that goes wrong. The biggest advice I would give to students uh, with regard to plagiarism, academic honesty, dishonesty, what have you, 
is to educate yourself on academic integrity. Educate yourself on what plagiarism is. Educate yourself on the policies and procedures of a particular campus, particularly Binghamton University. My, I have, would have two big pieces of advice. The first is to be familiar with the code, so be familiar with all of the rules that apply to academic integrity. And the second would be if you're not sure, if there's any question in your mind, to ask someone. And ask, it's better to find out sooner rather than later. Uh, oftentimes the instructor will give very direct um, advice that you can't use an outside source and students will use an outside source so um, if your instructor be really clear on what your instru the instructor's instructions are and follow them uh, be sure that you're following what the syllabus says and what your instructor has said um, other things that can promote academic integrity is by realizing that when you get a topic that you have to research or even write about that doesn't require research, if you're not clear about what it is that you have to do, make use of the office hours of the professor who will be glad to clarify. I can't tell you how many times students have come to my office and said, I don't understand what I have to do. I'm totally confused. And because we have experience explaining, <laughs> finding out what it is that's causing difficulty, difficulty. Lots of times students leave that office empowered, relieved, and ready to complete an assignment. I think students need to reach out to their faculty members if they have any questions. And one of the ways I see this the most is when students might work together in groups. Um, does your faculty member know that that math homework sheet represents the work of everyone rather than the work of just one person? If you hand a paper to someone else and they substantially edit it, um, enough so it really isn't a representation of work that you did solely by yourself. For some faculty members that might be okay because they want people to learn from each other and work collaboratively. For other faculty members, they might be uncomfortable and say, no, for this assignment, I want this based on your efforts alone so that I can gauge those. Either is an appropriate answer, but it's really important that students and faculty be on the same page for what those standards are. If you're in a class and you, you have to do research and part of the class is not teaching you research, it would be worth your while to ask your professor to do a session on plagiarizing. Um, if you understand the basic rules, if you know how to cite sources, if you know how to summarize and paraphrase and do quotes, and if you understand that any information that's taken from any source that isn't yours needs to be cited, and you understand the format for citing information, then you're covered. And the best, the one thing to remember is if you're in doubt, cite everything. It's better to have hundreds of citations in your paper than to have few or to guess. Should I cite this? Should I not cite it? If you're not sure, cite it. Even seasoned students and uh, <laughs> faculty members can learn uh, a thing or two about academic honesty, academic integrity, and, and plagiarism, and, and, and all sorts of um, categories because it is an intricate and very uh, uh, thought-provoking topic uh, because there are so many different aspects of that particular thing. In this age of technology and information, you're going to be learning new material in any career that you're in for the rest of your life. You will be a self-directed learner. You'll have to know how to do research. And probably in a lot of professions that come out of this university, you will be doing research of your own, and it has to be reliable information. I think academic integrity in the sciences is very similar to other disciplines. I think there's a lot of writing issues associated, copying and pasting. In the sciences, we also have to be concerned about data collection, whether or not the methods that you're using and the data that you're collecting is not only accurate and precise, but also that you don't take the data further than it's intended to go. Uh, by either uh, fudging the data, which would be particularly bad, or in some cases you can take data and just do your interpretation further than it should go. 
Uh, we should always be sensitive to the fact that the data is the truth. We need to report the data first and then do our discussion after that. In my profession, which is teaching freshman engineers how to research, that's part of my job, it's the importance of reliable information. And in engineering, that becomes very important because when a lot of decisions are made based on research, lives can be at stake. This is an extremely valuable and costly uh, education here at Painting, so why would you want to diminish the value in that in any way, shape, or form? So I would just uh, tell students and encourage students to uh, gain knowledge, gain understanding, and then uh, attempt to achieve your goals with honor.